Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I'm going to be reviewing something from this movie pack again, the Nifty 50s. The film I'm going to be reviewing is the one titled The Capture. And of course, it's on my to do list. Again, yes, sir. So, anyway, like I said, the film I'm going to be reviewing. This is the one titled The Capture. Yes, it's pretty cheaply made, and yes, again, it's pretty obscure in some ways. But nevertheless, of course, as always, I do have the top of the plot. So let's get into it, shall we? So the, there is this manager of an oil company. The payroll has been, well, well I should say, stolen in a held up. And he, let's just say his fiance um, urges him to pressure the, to s the subject and hope that he will gain some sort of thing, of course. This film is then being told in flashbacks, of course, which I think is pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, down the road, the robbers may have taken over the border so, so to speak with Mexico he goes along to I guess you can say to do what he has to do of course he shoots a man who shouts back at him and does not raise his hands when challenged by an the individual so a main character has to do what he thinks is right of course and let's just say things do become pretty crazy as the story goes along. And let's just say that this does attempt to be like an adventurous kind of movie in some ways. But anyway, I was saying the the main character in this film definitely has to do what he feels is right, of course. And let's just say that the story, like I said a moment ago, it has been told in flashbacks and, and it deals with an ex- oil worker driving by guilt at causing the death of an innocent man to find out the truth of this son robbery so it's basically that kind of storytelling so yeah I kinda like I do like that idea a lot of ways and I thought it was a pretty good idea and what they were do, going for in a lot of ways folks and I thought it was a pretty good premise on what they were do, aiming for so, again, like I said, I know I've said this multiple times before, they really don't make them like they used to. Oh boy, they really don't. I do miss these kinds of movies. These kinds of movies that really do attempt to try ha to have, you know, a fucking plot. A lot of movies nowadays just try to focus on the, you know, the skeptical of it, the, um, the explosions or whatever. So, I do feel like they, they don't want to make movies like this anymore. I know, before anybody tells me, I know the audience has changed over the years. The, the audience from, not, from the 1950s are different from the audience, you know, nowadays. I, you know, I get that. That doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, per se, but... In some ways, it could, I guess, but... Like I, like I afterwards, like I would often say, you know, vote with your daughter, folks. That's often what I would say. Vote with your daughter, with your money, because I believe that you get what you paid for, so to speak. And that's the, and that's definitely a lot of the case nowadays. You get what you paid for, so vote with your dollar. So, you know, we go to the cinemas, the movie audience or whatever so yeah if, if the movie studios produce shit and people wouldn't go to see it and like it hey the the uh, film companies would continue to make shit because you know people went to see it so I do feel like these movies I'm reviewing these old films from the past have more heart to it I guess you can say I feel like they they have more, there's more passion into it, there's more creativity in these kinds of movies than compared to some of the films nowadays. 
I'm not saying every mainstream movie is bad, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, I mean, I did see some shitty movies, don't get me wrong. I've seen some shitty movies from the past, too, don't get me wrong. I've seen some bad movies from, you know, in the past, too, but... But, I'm just saying, in regards to the good movies, where... They just come out like they have more passion, they have more, like, more of a feel to it. Especially with this one, it does have, uh, really tend to have a decent story, and it does have a pretty good plot, if you ask me. So... Yeah, just sad. They really don't make these like they used to anymore. They really don't. So, that's why in my movie, you know, on my channel, that's why you're going to see mostly, you know, old, obscure, low-budget titles, really. I mean, I may review, from time to time, review a more up-to-date movie, I guess, from, you know, time to time. But it's mostly going to be this old stuff I'm reviewing, mostly. It's been most of the time, like 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm reviewing stuff like from like long ago. So that's I guess that's more of my that's more of my alley, so to speak. Yeah, I always want to do that, folks. Anyway, I always want to do that. I know that may not be I know that may not be the most hip thing ever, but I don't give a shit. But anyway, like I said, I like this one. This one is pretty solid. I like the acting. Yeah, I kind of feel like the actors really do feel best with the little they have, I guess you can say. Yeah, it's just not a huge budget, sure. But the actors and actresses did what they had already, folks. So, in some ways, like I said, this film tells the story backwards, which is fine. There's been a ton of movies that did the same thing, so it's all good. So, anyway, this film gets two thumbs up for me, folks. Yes, for real. So anyway, I recommend it. This film is, this film has been released on, on a single disc. So again, you don't necessarily have to buy from here. I mean, you could, I guess. But anyway, yeah, like I, was, like I said before in my other videos, this, this packet is not specific on genre. It's just random as hell. It's really random. So this one comes out more of a, I guess more of a drama in some ways, which is fine. So anyway, folks, I'll say check this one out if you haven't already. Because I thought it was pretty damn good. And it will get an overall rating of a 7.6 out of 10. It gets a 7.6 out of 10 for me. As always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah.